Next question. How much fat and protein do you recommend for an average 150 pound man? I don't make the recommendations. It in part depends upon how many meals you have and how much uh, you like to eat at a meal. I like my patients to feel satisfied but not stuffed. And um, since we're severely limiting the carbohydrate, the only thing that re things that remain are protein and fat. And since I'm not uh, telling people go out and buy some fat and eat it, uh, the fat is whatever comes along with the protein. So <laughs> it's a matter of what it takes to make you feel comfortable. But there are complication, there are computations that you can make. And when I sit down with a new patient, I look at the amount of exercise they get and I do some estimating. And it's really more like guesstimating than estimating. Um, it, the, the literature seems to suggest that a, a truly sedentary person, someone who doesn't go out and walk around who sits around the house all day long, doesn't do housework. In other words, an invalid needs 0 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And this is what they give to end stage kidney disease patients. Uh, uh, they, they, at the very end, they try to minimize the protein to put off dialysis another few months. It's not been proven that they can do this, but uh, uh, some doctors think that it may be possible. So they take them down to the minimum, which would be 0.8 uh, grams of protein per kilogram. So you have to convert your body weight to kilograms uh, uh, by dividing pounds by 2.2, and that gives you grams of protein. Uh, every six grams of protein comes to one ounce of real protein food as you would weigh it on the scale. So a three ounce hamburger would have about 18 grams of protein. Now, what if you're more active? Let's say that you're a professional athlete. You might need uh, between five grams and, 10, and 15 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And you might be solid muscle and have a lot of kilograms of body weight. So that's the other extreme. And in between, if you take a person who uh, exercises, let's say for a half an hour a day, uh, he might need um, 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So it depends very much on how uh, much you exercise and how strenuous the exercise is. So there's not a matter of my recommending how much protein you should eat. Um, uh, but the main guideline is what maintains your body weight at a healthy weight. Uh, and do you feel too full or too hungry? So if I want someone to lose weight, I'll reduce the protein below my computed amount. And if I want someone to gain weight, as I'm doing right now with a lady who's getting uh, six uh, protein meals a day, um, we uh, raise the protein above the computed amount. So that's how it goes. It's not the simplest thing in the world. Read the book, it might be uh, helpful. Diabetes Solution.